hapa hakuna ndugu yako ameana ais uchungu jaja amekuwa hapa akikomunicate na sijui kama ni msie benpa na mtu mwingine na aki akatuma usaidizi jamani mleteni grusa ama mlete ambulance wapi tujaona ambulance stima imekuja kama ndugu yako anakata bro ade wewe yiba amekuwa asona hapa maana maki washia watu mapikipiki yes bwana shi ndugu yako amekufa ezekeni ami pigwa risasi road block juu ya mask I want to say first and foremost I want to condemn with the strongest terms uh, that incident where a police officer shot a young man uh, by the name Ezekiel Odera uh, at Malaba last evening at around 7 in the evening. Uh, the incident is very, very unfortunate and is uncalled for for a young man who was unarmed and who simply was shot from the reports we are getting from the public, uh, was shot because he had not put on a mask. This is very, very unfortunate. If police officers can use excessive force, use firearms to shoot a young man because he has not put on a mask, that is the worst incident of brutality. I wish to condemn that incident and I wish to demand that action be taken by the IG immediately to have this officer arrested and arraigned in court so that justice can be done and can be seen to be done. Okay, and uh, we're already seeing a lot of chaos already there. What are you, what are you telling your uh, constituents right now? Uh, my constituents are demonstrating rightfully because the public expect the police to protect them. Instead of protecting, they have taken firearms against the, the Wananchi. And I think this is one of the things that we are concerned. Even as a security committee of parliament where I belong, the Administration and National Security Committee, we have been emphasizing the need for police officers to build trust with the public. To build trust, that means they should give the services to, the, to, to, to Wananchi, and they should build that trust instead of using firearms against the same Wananchi, who actually are the taxpayers, who buy for them and even employ them. Even those firearms are meant to protect they are not meant to be used against innocent Wananchi. This is a young man who was unarmed. And my appeal, and I, I think in terms of uh, demonstration, the public are demonstrating uh, peacefully and correctly. The police should not again be used against, uh, especially the GSU, are being deployed to try and uh, harm the same Wananchi. I appeal that the Wananchi be left to demonstrate peacefully they are not breaking anything. They are expressing their rightful uh, uh, anger because of what is happening so that we see the changes. We would like some changes in uh, that area. One of the things that we realize as we're moving out as a security committee, uh, I chair the subcommittee that oversees the police issues, administration issues. We moved around the country, and we are still moving around. One of the things we found, that when officers overstay in stations, they tend to become complacent. They tend to focus now on other issues. In the case of Teso North, and particularly uh, Malaba, the sub-county security, which is chaired by the DCC, has failed. In the last uh, one year, we have lost three people who have been killed. Two businessmen were killed, and to date, no investigation has come out to an act. The public are even suspecting uh, the, the police to be part of the, the whole thing, because where these people are killed, and the, 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 the police station is just next. So now, the problem is there are overstayed officers, starting with the DCC. The DCC has been there for over five years, since 2016. <laughs> And the DCC now is presiding because as a, a chairman of security, mm -hmm. then supervision fails mm -hmm. because now he's focusing on okay. other things. Okay, the border area, 
is known for contraband. Okay. Two weeks ago, eight trucks were arrested in the border. Today, the trucks are still there because they are very complacent officers and there's a problem there. Okay. And this is his supervising on that. If these officers who have overstayed are not transferred, I appeal to the Minister for Interior, uh, Minister Matiangi, the CS Matiangi, to move all the officers who 